If you're looking for a spell of dry and warmer weather, well, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that the global weather patterns are starting to shift. The bad news is that for the UK, we are going to continue to be dominated by low pressure for most of next week. Here's the reason why the jet stream. It is shifted to the south and taking low pressure systems across the country. But it has started to move elsewhere. And this dip in the jet stream across the Mediterranean is allowing the heat to start to ease across the eastern end of the Mediterranean over the next couple of days. So turning a little cooler here, temperatures back just closer to average. As for the UK, we will stay mostly below average, certainly through the weekends. This pool of cooler air moving in, tied in to an area of low pressure that promises plenty of showers during both Saturday and Sunday. Before we get there, however, it is actually turning a little warmer. Tucked into this little warm sector, as we call it, is some pretty mild air. And that is bringing, yes, cloud and rain through Wednesday night and into Thursday, but also higher temperatures. So it will be a pretty warm night, certainly compared to Tuesday nights, with temperatures staying in the mid-teens in many towns and cities. So a warm, humid, dank, drizzly start to Thursday. Outbreaks of rain will continue to pull away, perhaps lingering in northeast Scotland, but many areas will brighten up through the day. The coasts may well stay misty and murky, but with some shelter, parts of eastern England may well see some sunny spells, and that could lift temperatures up to 24, 25 Celsius. Haven't seen that often uh, in recent days or even weeks. But that warmth may then actually spark some heavy and thundery showers late in the day. But it will be a humid feel during Thursday, perhaps a little fresher into Friday. That weather system is pulling away, but then the low that arrives for the weekend starts to approach. Now, in between, as I said, many places looking dry and bright during Friday, but that low itself comes in, the isobars squidge together, suggesting that the breeze will pick up. And of course, around that low pressure system, if we zoom in a little bit, we're just going to see bands of showers moving through. Now, if you get caught under a line of showers, it could turn into a pretty wet day on Saturday. But for most, the showers will tend to move through. And it'll be one of those days, one of those weekends, really, where you see some decent spells of sunshine. But there will also be some showers. And we'll see more of the showers closer to the low pressure system. So that's over parts of Scotland and northern England, whereas further south, there'll be more sunny spells and fewer showers, perhaps. But uh, all the while staying fairly breezy and cool during this weekend. So that's one area of low pressure. There is a little bump in the isobars, a, a very brief ridge of high pressure, but it's not going to last because behind me, there is another area of low pressure, and that's developing again out in the Atlantic, bringing the moisture, bringing the cloud, and these weather fronts will bring a further spell of rain across the country. Now, this is a few days off, so the position of these weather fronts, and therefore where sees the heaviest rain during Monday, still open to a little bit of doubt. And that's shown quite nicely by this chart, where we compare the three main models that we look at, the American model here, the European model here, and uh, the Met Office computer model here. Now this is showing the total rainfall through the day on Monday and you can see in the Met Office model much of the UK is covered by at least some rain whereas in the European model it's shifted further south maybe a, a drier day in Scotland and the American model is pretty similar to the UK model but in all of these models actually northern Scotland poking out may well stay dry and fine on Monday in the Northern Isles. So a bit of uncertainty about the extent of the rain on Monday but basically we will see another spell of wet weather crossing the country. And, well, we probably won't see the end of it through next week because the jet stream is getting quite lively. The jet's really kind of picking up as it leaves Canada there. And it's that excited jet which pushes this area of low pressure in on Monday. And then the jet is likely to stay in this position, shifted to the south, controlling the weather patterns across the UK really for much of next week. So we are likely to be continue to dominated, to be dominated by low pressure as this chart shows. Now this is the uh, probabilistic pressure trend showing blue for low pressure dominating across the UK and red for high pressure dominating across the UK. Going forward in time there across the top, so for most of next week it is blue. These are the previous computer model runs and that does show at least a hint, a whiff, a sniff of 
something drier, higher pressure, perhaps edging in towards the second week of August. But for this 10 day trend period, we are likely to be still dominated by low pressure. And another thing I want to point out, actually, if you go back in time, there's always that hint, but it's it's always further away. There is a, a pattern there that suggests that that high pressure is always going to be that distance away. So it is at this stage just a whiff of a suggestion of the weather may be turning a little more settled as we head into that second week of August. For more on that, actually, you can watch my deep dive video that we recorded yesterday. But certainly for this 10 day trend period, low pressure is likely to dominate. And if we break that down into the different regimes, the different flavors of uh, low pressure, if you like, then that's what's shown here with uh, the probability of eight different types of weather shown by the different colors where the blue is mostly low pressure dominated and more mobile, more changeable weather patterns and the reds and the oranges are more static. Now there is a hint that those reds and oranges again do come in towards the back end of next week. But the, the main theme for much of next week is this mid blue color, which is actually where the winds are coming in from the northwest, a northwesterly breeze signified or typified by this kind of weather pattern where there's low pressure systems up to the north, and high pressure way down to the southwest. West. Don't forget with the jet stream in this kind of position, we could always see little areas of low pressure running across. But the broad theme through most of next week is this kind of weather pattern with low up here. And that means the winds will be coming around the low in from the northwest. And with northwesterly winds, that is always going to bring moisture from the sea and reasonably cool conditions as well. So we're likely to stay cool and showery. And uh, this is the temperature profiles for next week, the, the chance of seeing over 20 degrees Celsius. The, the black lines are the, uh, the average pressure chart lines and the days going forward from Monday there through to Friday. So for the full working week next week, you can see that the, the main theme with those pressure lines going like that, that also backs up that northwesterly flow. And with the northwesterly flow with the air coming in, across Western Scotland first. It's the southeast, which will see the driest conditions and also perhaps the, the warmest conditions. And this is the chance, the probability of reaching just 20 degrees Celsius. So a pretty good chance right the way throughout the week across East Anglia, the Midlands and the southeast of seeing those top temperatures of 20 Celsius. But for much of the western half of the UK and the northern half of the UK, we're unlikely to reach 20 degrees Celsius. The, the chance is way down here in the like one to 10 percent bracket. So Again, just backing up that theory that we're likely to stay on the cool side for most of next week. We're likely to continue to see showers. Now, it's not going to rain all the time. There will be windows of opportunity. Uh, if you've got the kids and you need to get out for a, a day, then make sure you stay up to date with the day to day weather forecast for those windows of opportunity for wherever you are. But the broad theme is Yes, some sunny spells, but there will be showers never too far away, staying cool and with that breeze coming in from the northwest. But that hint of something perhaps a little drier beyond that. As I said, for more on that, check out the deep dive video on our YouTube channel. And for those day to day updates, make sure you're following us right across social media.